Bethesda took a deep, deep dive into Fallout 76, revealing tons of new details on the game. Many of the game's pre-E3 rumored details were confirmed to be true, while new stuff was also shown off. Here in this video, we're going to talk about the 15 most important and significant things we've learned about Fallout 76 recently. Fully Online The most prevalent speculation surrounding Fallout 76 in the build-up to E3 had been that it would be Bethesda's very own take on the shared world approach, that it'd be an online survival game in vain of something like Rust. Bethesda's Todd Howard took the stage late in the show to confirm that that is indeed true. In his own words, Fallout 76 is entirely online. However, per every server of the game, there are only going to be a few dozen players, not hundreds or thousands. As Todd said, it's an apocalyptic wasteland, not an amusement park. Can be played solo. Fallout 76 is obviously built as an online game, but it's still a game that you can play solo if you want. The game will be harder if you're playing alone, but you can play it all by yourself if you wish to do so. Of course, there will be other players in the world who may or may not be friendly, but if you're not interested in forming your own group, you can roam and play alone. That said, the game will still require an online connection if you want to play it, even if it's solo dedicated servers. Bethesda have had some troubling experiences in the past with their online experiences, involving issues with technical aspects and server problems. With Fallout 76, they seem to be making efforts to make sure that that doesn't happen. The game will be running on dedicated servers being run by Bethesda themselves, so you can expect the online functionalities of the game to be quite smooth, at least in theory. The setting. Fallout 76 is going to be set in the hills of West Virginia, which is something else that was part of the game's pre-release speculation. It should be interesting to see how the game differentiates itself from Fallout 3, which itself was set in Washington, D.C. Perhaps the gap of 200 years in the series chronology between the two games will be vital to how the settings of both games are going to be different from each other. Narrative Setup in Fallout 76, we'll be playing as one of the few people that were selected to inhabit Vault 76 before the Great War that turned the world into a nuclear wasteland. It's also going to be the very first game in the series chronology, being set only about 20 years or so after the nuclear war, and 200 years before any modern Fallout game, being Fallout 3, New Vegas and Fallout 4. It sees us being sent out into the world as one of the first people stepping out of the vaults on a day known as Reclamation Day, into a world that is much harsher and very different from what we've seen in Fallout up until now. Which makes sense, because the world would still be quite fresh off of the nuclear war, especially when compared to other games in the series. Four times larger than Fallout 4. One thing that Bethesda emphasized quite a lot during their press event, as well as during Todd Howard's brief appearance at the Microsoft show, was the fact that Fallout 76 is going to be their biggest game yet. More precisely, the world of Fallout 76 is going to be four times as large as the world of Fallout 4, which, if you've played it, you would know was pretty damn huge to begin with. The Map there were a few more vague details on the game's map besides its gargantuan scope as well. Apparently, the story of Fallout 76, which isn't something Bethesda talked about very much unfortunately, will take the players through the entirety of the map, which is composed of six distinct regions, each of which have their own style in terms of geology, its hazards, its characteristics and more. More specific details on how these six areas would differ from each other weren't given, but we're excited to see what kind of variety the game will have, especially in terms of biomes. Technical Enhancements Bethesda's games have been notoriously infamous for being riddled with technical issues and glitches. That's one more piece of criticism that the developer seems to be taking to heart. We've been promised that Fallout 76 will feature significant technical upgrades over its precursors. It will run on an upgraded version of the Bethesda engine and will feature new rendering and animation techniques. What's more, the draw distances are also going to be vastly improved, 
with Todd Howard claiming that you'll be able to see different distant weather systems across the map. Storm coming your way from a direction, you can probably see it coming from miles away with your own eyes. Dynamic Events The one detail on Fallout 76 that perhaps excited me more than any other was its dynamic events. Throughout the map of Fallout 76 will be scattered nuclear launch sites, which, when players have been able to procure the codes to gain entrance into them, either by themselves or with the help of other players, they will be able to activate. Once activated, players will be able to launch these nukes at any particular area on the map. In the wake of the nuclear destruction, players will be able to enter the affected areas to gather sweet loot and gear for themselves for the wreckage, though it's going to be a risk-reward system, since the areas will be heavily irradiated, and players entering these areas will run the risk of dying very quickly and painfully. Progression carries over Here's something else that's interesting. Players will be able to carry over their progression when they play with or against other players as well. None of their progress will be lost. Your character will remain your character, complete with your customizations, upgrades, equipments, and progress, no matter who you're playing with or what server you're playing on. Additionally, players won't lose their progression or their characters upon dying either, implying that your progress isn't going to be tied to specific servers. Settlement Building One of the things that captured everyone's interest almost immediately and with surprising ferocity in Fallout 4 was its settlement building mechanics. Thankfully, Bethesda have confirmed that Fallout 76 will have the same mechanics as well. You'll be able to build your own settlement from scratch, following which you'll upgrade it incrementally, adding defenses and other facilities. While you will also be defending it from regular attacks, much like you did in Fallout 4. Additionally, these settlements, or camps as they're being called, will be portable, somehow. So, no matter how big or small it is, you can always pick up the base you've built and move it someplace else. Neat. No more traditional VATs. This one's a real bummer. The VAT system has gone on to become truly synonymous with this franchise. It's what makes Fallout's combat as great as it is. It is, in large part, what makes these games so recognizable. Unfortunately, Fallout 76 is an entirely online experience, so there's going to be no traditional VATs in it. The sacrifice is just a product of the kind of game Fallout 76 is. However, there will be a VAT system, but it will be in real time and the time can't be slowed down. No mod support at launch. Something else that Fallout games, or for that matter all Bethesda Game Studios games, have become synonymous with over the years is mods. The modding community of these games has added immense life and longevity to the experiences, not to mention healthy and surprising doses of creativity and bizarreness. Fallout 76 won't feature mod support at launch, but Todd Howard has confirmed in an interview with Jeff Keighley that his team will introduce at some point after the game launches. Release date Bethesda have had a pretty strict marketing cycle they've followed over the last couple of years, where they announce games and then release them within mere months of that first announcement. This year, with games like Rage 2, Wolfenstein, Youngblood, Starfield, and The Elder Scrolls VI, Bethesda has moved away from that cycle quite drastically. But Fallout 76 is still very much going to stick with that schedule. It'll be launching surprisingly soon, and will be playable in full on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC on November 14th of this year, just roughly five months from now. Beta What's even more exciting, though, is the fact that in this short five-month window, we will still be able to give the game a good and heavy try. Bethesda confirmed that Fallout 76 will be receiving a beta sometime before launch, and registrations for it are open already. Hopefully, Bethesda will be able to quash out any major prospective issues and bugs with the game with the help of this beta, because we definitely won't want to see such issues in the final release. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.